Hey, hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We have the Artillery Stormtrooper, which is an Amazon exclusive. Um, I think it's Amazon exclusive everywhere. Um, yeah, this one arrived today. Very, very happy to have this one. I'm just, I love that Stormtrooper mold. And the uh, Incinerator Trooper they did, was it last year? Maybe earlier this year? I have no idea. This year's gone way too quick and I can't keep up. Um, but anyway, that one was freaking awesome. I'm pretty sure it was last year, but it might have been this year. Anyway, so this is number 13 in the uh, Mandalorian line. And uh, yeah, man, they're pumping out some figures now, which is great because, um, you know, more of these Stormies, absolutely awesome. So yeah, on the back, specialized soldiers in the Imperial forces, artillery stormtroopers carry specialized indirect fire weapons like mortars into the battlefield. So yeah, nice, nice looking image there on the on the side. It's looking pretty good. No, I'm digging this one. I think it looks great. So uh you see my reflection there. Hi! Um <laughs> let's open this one up and have a look. Now that I've completely slaughtered the packaging, um for those that are curious about what the next figure is, it's the uh, Deluxe Mandalorian uh, from Avala 7. Uh, the sort of mud horn, the muddy armor. You can just sort of see the damaged piece of armor there, as well as the pram for Grogu. So, all right, folks, here is the figure, and this is looking absolutely awesome. I'm so pumped with this one. So, accessory wise, it comes with the mortar launcher here, which is really nice. It's a nicely sculpted piece. No extra paint applications to it, but that's, that's all right does have this little articulated double legs here and uh, yeah this part here is on a ball and socket so you can sort of pivot that just allowing it to uh, move a little bit so you can change its trajectory depending on how you want to display it or whatever so that's cool it's it's not a big you know super exciting piece but it's a nice nice inclusion Secondly is the backpack here, which is really nicely done, nicely detailed. Um, each of these individual uh, mortar shells are all removable and replaceable, uh, which is really, really cool. I have one in his hand that's just going to stay there for the moment because yeah, it looks, looks quite good. I'm definitely going to just sort of display him sort of as so. He's got a big cannon in between his legs. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but yeah, the backpack is cool. I like what they've done here. So yeah, they've given that a sort of peg. And uh, it sort of locks on there like that. It's a little loose. Um, it doesn't hug on there beautifully. It's a little bit, It's once it's on there, it's fine. It's not gonna fall off or anything, but uh, yeah, it's not super tight either, so I'm definitely going to be gluing that one on. But yeah, nice little details, a few, couple of other sort of thermal grenades there on the side. Another little canister there. But yeah, I'm really digging the uh, yellow highlights on this one, much like the uh, Incinerator Trooper with the red. Definitely pops very, very nicely. <coughs> and yeah, I just can't get enough of this uh, Stormtrooper sculpt, I think it's just... Some of the best that Hasbro's done. Really, really nice. So yeah. Other accessories, comes with this blaster. So the old camera died there for a moment, but uh, yeah, we were looking at the E11 with these extra attachments. I think it's an E11D. I can't remember what they're calling it now. Um, oh, <laughs> I've lost track of all that little bit, those little bits of information, you know. Used to just be the E11, and it was that was all it was. But now it's uh, you know something else because it's got that extra, extra, extra magazine on the side and the little, little scopey thing. No idea, no idea. But uh, it's cool. Nice to have that included. Uh, yeah, it will hold that in that hand nicely. So yeah, looking very cool. This this trooper, I like him a lot. It's nice to run the battlefield, nice to be able to set up a scene. Do have some toy photo sort of plans to go and get a cool shot. There's a really cool place that looks exactly like uh, Tython. 
from uh, the Mandalorian. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take him out with some other troopers, and uh, yeah, and definitely when we get the uh, Boba Fett and the Fennec Shand coming out from from Tython, they'll be definitely coming too. So. Yeah, I'm digging this figure, guys. Really am. It looks fantastic. Love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Also, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I will be back very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, with some more videos, so stay tuned. So, until my next video... May the force be with you always.